Hi, today I want to walk you through a quick case study that will highlight the importance of using the baseline testing strategy. It will also highlight the importance of the self-selection strategy. Using these two strategies, we're able to learn about our site, learn about our visitors, and create a good lift for them. This test was targeted to people who had never been to the site, had never logged in, and were first-time visitors. So our goal was to capture that new visitor traffic and give them a better experience. We wanted to learn about this new visitor traffic and how we could help them. So this test was only on our homepage and we had a modal window that popped up that asked them if they were new to the site and if they wanted more to learn more about the site. So the text said, if you're new here, I, we want to introduce you to some, some new areas of the site. And then they had two call to actions. They could say, yes, I'm new here, or they could say, I'm, I'm already a member. For those that are telling us that they're a member, we allow them to click on the member and they go back to the regular homepage without any changes. For those that say I'm new here and they want that introduction, we sent them to three different pages. The first page that we sent them to was a new page that is all about our basic beliefs. We want them to explore it in a new way that was more of an interactive way. There were some sliders and some quiz questions. And our business question with this one was, will interactivity create more engagement? The second place we sent them to was our existing place for those new members, those, those people, I should say, who are first-time visitors, who are new, and we didn't change anything about this page. We're evaluating that to see how that experience did when we allowed the visitor to self-select into that page as opposed to just pushing that page onto them. The third page that we tried is what we call the pamphlet page. We want to say, hey, knowing that you're new here, we gave you some basic introduction of who we are, what we think, and gave them a few different links that they can click to from that page. You'll notice that all three of these experiences are very different. This is why this is a baseline testing strategy. We have a completely new experience that we're trying against a completely other new experiences to see which experience does the best, knowing that we're not controlling for one small element or one small change. We're just throwing a bunch of things against the fan, seeing what sticks and seeing what doesn't work. So to give you a closer look at the beliefs page, you can see that there's a slider and they'll go through and they'll choose their, their level of interest for different categories. Once they've done that, they get some results of how they compare to the rest of the people who've done it. And then we also recommend some content for them based on the things they've chosen. So this is kind of a personalized experience where we let them self-select into telling us what they're interested in. And then based on that, we give them content that they may be interested in. So now the principle, the testing principle here is you have self-selection twice. First, they've told us who they are. Now they're telling us what they're interested in. And based on that, we're giving them some content that might fit who they are and what they're interested in. So there you go, there's the three experiences. Let me show you the results. The first thing that was of interest to us and the thing that we wanted to learn about this test was the number of people who were new to the site. We get a lot of visitors and people clear cookies and people get new devices all the time. And so there's always this uncertainty of who is actually new and who's coming because they're repeat visitors or they have a new device or they've cleared their cookies. And so here you can see that just 4.2% of the visitors um, coming to the site, the homepage, were actually new visitors overall. We also looked at people who clicked that they were already a member, we looked at people who clicked the X and we looked at people who bounced in general who didn't do anything. The bounce rate is probably high because a lot of people had this page as a bookmark and when their browser comes up, that's the page that's there and they usually type away to go to wherever they're going. So that's a high expected bounce rate because of the behavior that we see with our visitors in general. But the most important takeaway for us was that the number of people who were new and how that compared to everything else. Again, the principle here is self-selection. We allowed someone to choose and tell us who they are so that we don't have to guess. And then once they've told us, we can give them a great experience. We looked at a variety of metrics to try and paint the picture of what's working best. We looked at things like highly engaged visitors. We're a content site and we want people to consume more content, to share content. We also want people to come back more often to consume more content. So we looked at, were you highly engaged? Were you a return visitor? Were you a return visitor who was again highly engaged the second time? We looked at content velocity. We also looked at the bounce rates. So all these metrics are coming together to tell us the story of which experience did the best. And overall, what we found was there was one experience that was a winner that increased almost every important metric to us. And while the third experience did increase re repeat visitors, the trade-off of the other metrics may not be as high. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to take these learnings and say, okay, well, we think that these things are from these different pages are what's creating this impact. And so we're going to do some more baseline testing to continue to push that boundary and see how we can get people highly engaged and consuming content. We can see here that the baseline strategy combined with a self-selection strategy are great principles in testing to make sure that you're allowing people to tell us who they are and then tell us what they're interested in so we can give them custom content. Curated content or products can be important. 
But whenever you allow the visitors to, to tell us what they're looking for, you're more likely to get good results. I hope you liked this case study. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And also you can subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more case studies more often. So you might want to see those that are coming up as well.